Hello, good afternoon, arts and culture of Asia students. I hope you're having a great week. I wanted to just check in, quick announcement, reminder that your exam module posted on Monday and you have your first big exam this that opens tomorrow and will be due by Sunday night by midnight by 11 59 p.m. The uh, I wanted to first of all encourage you if you have not yet looked at that module to do so as soon as possible. I have a detailed study guide available to you and that will help you be much better prepared for the exam than were you to dive into it without it. There aren't any surprises on my exam and students who use the study guide to prepare do well. So I would like to just use this little announcement video to introduce you to the module um, if you haven't yet gone through it and um, highlight the study guide and also highlight a few points about the exam. Let me share my screen. All right, so here we are on our home page. And if we go to modules, we will go down and you will see that at the bottom after week four, um, we are in week four, of course, I have a, a module dedicated to your midterm and that posted on Monday morning. And so you should watch if you have, if you have exam anxieties or you're not used to taking exams in Canvas, it's a basic kind of video to give you some tips on how to manage anxiety and um, other kind of feelings that come up when you're taking any kind of exam, but particularly an online exam where you're by yourself. My study guide is here. Um, and then I have a video, which is very similar to this one, although I think it's slightly dated because it was created um, a little while ago. Uh, but it, it goes over some tips and guidelines, which you can watch. And then here is the exam itself. And the exam, of course, is available to access in the module. You may also access it under quizzes. You'll also see it as something coming up on your dashboard um, in um, uh, where all of your Canvas course um, are, are, are available for you to see together. So um, let's first go quickly to the midterm study guide. So my exams, I give three hours to take an exam. It is not designed to take three hours, but I like to have the maximum flexibility for my students and your learning um, comfort zone and give you plenty of time. So don't feel like it's a huge exam. It's simply, I like to allow for a, a nice amount of time. In order to study, you should, um, make sure you know all of these vocabulary words. They're coming from, and I've organized them by week. So week one, um, these are terms and concepts you should know, week two, week three. Um, and then the same, again, starting with week one, I have works of architecture you should know. I guarantee that some of these works of art that I have listed for the first three weeks of class, there aren't that many, but, some of them will be identifications on the exam and they might be not the entire work, but maybe some part of the work um, or the whole work. And so you need to be able to identify those um, works of art, say what they are and say a little bit about them. So this is your ticket and your tool to be well prepared. And then short answer questions. These are all drawn from some of the questions posted in each week's module that led uh, preceded videos. Um, or readings. And so these are, be sure you can answer these questions because they may appear on the exam or something very closely related to it may appear. And then for part three, you have a long answer question. You will write um, a, 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 a paragraph or two um, that you will prepare in advance. So here are the, the um, guidelines for that. So go ahead and um, review them. For You will have a compare and contrast, and you can see that you will, I've told you what kind of compare and contrast um, will be options on your exam. I like to give choices for the, the third part of the exam, so you have more than one. You're not, you, you have, you can choose which, which question you want to answer. So, um, and these are the questions that you should be prepared to answer. 
For context and connections, three out of the four questions below will be on the exam exactly as they appear here. And you need to be prepared to write a short essay answer in response to them that shows your thinking and engaging in our module. If you use um, material that's um, very much coming from another source or you are decided to try to use AI, AI is a very generic um, tool and it's very obvious when AI is used. Um, if you use AI partly, but then go back into my course and build out what you found, okay, that's okay, but I would encourage you to stay, really use your own mind and use our course material rather than turning to sources online um, because you're robbing yourself of um, growth, mental growth and, and knowledge. But I also can detect um, very readily um, students that are not working in our module at all and using other sources. And you will be simply marked down for not reflecting content from our course. If you manage to write really nice answers that are very much engaging our course material, but you do it some other way, well, fine, as long as you're learning. But I stay with our class. It's the best way. And it's um, the way for you to learn the most and make the most of your time. And, and learning is a gift. Um, for you and for the rest of your life, something like the humanities. All right, so that is uh, the study guide. Let's go to um, the exam itself will open um, on, it will open tomorrow morning at eight o'clock and it will be remain open until September 22nd. I'm going to leave student view for a moment so that you can see what the exam will actually look like when it unlocks. So let me just show you. This is, let me get my little face out of the way. So I have, when the exam actually opens, preview, here we go. You're getting a little peek into what your instructor does behind the scenes. All right, so the exam will look like this um, when it opens up tomorrow morning. You'll have a midterm, the, the link to the midterm study guide will be up placed here as well, because I know some students, for whatever reason, don't go to the module. And this is, they'll open up the assignment from their dashboard and they'll, this will, on tomorrow morning. And so you can click and this will take you right over to the study guide. Um, notice here, I have written in red, if you don't finish the exam by Sunday night at 11.59, and you still have time left to complete it. So, you know, you started at 10 p.m., although you should try to avoid this Sunday night, and you thought, oh, you're just gonna take it an hour, but for what you you took longer. First, don't not, don't just say, oh, it's 11.58 now and, and submit and complete. Finish the whole exam if you have time and go ahead and run a little over time. You will lose, it's much better to finish um, than to particularly leave the last part of the exam unfinished. The last part of the exam, as you know from the study guide, is high points. So if you get to part three and you're three minutes before midnight um, and you don't complete part three, you're going to lose one third of the exam and that's not good. Um, other points to remember is that the, um, the exam is, and these questions are, are not what's going, this is a different question than what you're going to appear in your quiz. So um, the, um, you cannot stop um, and start. You have to take the exam in one sitting and, um, but you can go back and check your work. And here on the side is a dashboard where you can navigate. And here you can see um, this particular exam was set for it's set for three hours and you can track your time here. So that is, and it's, um, it covers weeks one and three of your module. So you should study week one, week two, and week three. Um, you should also be, of course, working, um, hopefully you've been spending a lot of time this week also diving into the Indo-Aryans and the Vedic period, a really exciting period, which I hope you're in, um, finding as interesting and exciting as I have. Uh, but that material is not going to be on the exam. That will be on your next exam. If you don't do well in your first exam, remember I replace your lowest scoring exam of the four exams in, in this class with your highest. So if, for example, you do very poorly 
um, on this exam, but you do very well in your next exams and you get a very high score, then I will, you will keep the second exam high score and then I'll replace the score with whatever is your highest score in the class. So you'll, it's, it's definitely a class that can really allow you to make up for a big mistake on one of the exams. Don't hesitate to contact me if you have questions. I'm, I um, love to hear from you. And you can just write to me via Canvas mail or, um, you know, if you would like to try to schedule a time to meet. Uh, my office hours are Tuesdays 1 to 3, but I can fit in evening times sometimes other days of the week. And so if you're really anxious and you've got some questions, don't hesitate to write to me. I'm here to support you. All right. Have a wonderful afternoon, you all. And last piece of, uh, you know, thoughts for all of you is think of the exam like a chance to crystallize your knowledge. Um, up until this point, you've been working through material for the first three weeks of class and exposed maybe to match a lot that's quite new. It might feel kind of big and wobbly in your mind. And it's sort of like um, the way rain forms in the sky or snow actually, up and high in the sky, things slowly start condensing and moisture starts rising and forming. And then as, um, you know, a raindrop falls, if it hits the right conditions, it turns into a crystallized snowflake, which is extremely, you know, beautiful and, and kind of one of the wonders of nature. I like to think of the exams that way too. You're going to crystallize what you've been working on already by this focus. There's nothing like forcing your mind and suffering a little, we all do with exams, um, to this intense period of kind of taking an exam. But because I give you such a detailed study guide and because you have material available to you, you're crystallizing. It's like an intense review. Um, and I would ask you to approach it that way, deliberately with preparation. And between that and the short quizzes you've been able to take already, this knowledge should crystallize for you and it should stay with you in the future. And um, that's the idea, right? So have a great day, everyone. And um, I look forward to reading your exams.